talk, seven million times that has been watched by people. I'm one of that seven million. Oh, thank Were you. Were you surprised by the number? No, I'm destined for greatness. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. no. It, it, was, it was extremely shocking, and it's been so amazing because I've toured the world. I do comedy in two languages, but the TED Talk was totally different because everybody heard what they wanted to hear. So I have Muslim girls from Indonesia and Lubbock, Texas, sending me messages saying, I never saw a Muslim that looked like me, that represented how I live in America or, you know, in the world. I had parents that said, you know, we're afraid to teach our child to walk and we're inspired by you, but our fear is that they'll fall down. And I remember telling parents, like, every child falls down. You have to at least give it a try. And it's been incredible. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you had a, um, you know, so much humor in that talk, but you also had a serious message about people with disabilities being the largest minority in the world, but also the least represented yeah. by the media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it started in college. When I was in college, I got A's in all of my acting classes. And then when I went to audition, I never got cast. And my senior year, they did a play called They Dance Real Slow in Jackson. And it was about a girl with cerebral palsy. And I'm a girl with cerebral palsy, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm getting this part. And I didn't get the part. And, yeah, and they said that, uh, they said I couldn't do the stunts. And I was like, if I can't do the stunts, neither can the character. And the problem... <laughs> yeah, right? Well, of course. If I can't do it, how can she do it, right? <laughs> and the problem is that, like, college was imitating Hollywood. Yeah. There is a lack of disability on TV. When I was growing up, we had Corky on Life Goes On, we had Radar on MASH. Now it's hard to find positive images of disability, and I think that when we work on diversity, the people with disabilities are completely left out. And I want to change that because I believe the more positive images we have on screen, the more positive behavior we'll experience in real life with the disabled community. Absolutely. And, you know, your can-can attitude came from your dad. Yeah. We talked before about walking and parents yeah. were afraid to let their children walk. Doctors told your parents she's never going to walk and your father would not listen to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, doctors told my parents I wouldn't walk. And I, just to be clear, there is no shame in not walking. Right. Not everyone can, but my parents' attitude was, you can do it, yes, you can, can. <laughs> and uh, my dad used a lot of really amazing techniques. One was he used to put my feet on his feet and he would just walk. So I walked like miles on that man's shoes, you know? And Literally I, and figuratively. I think. Yeah. yeah. But he used to also dangle a dollar in front of me <laughs> <laughs> and have me chase it. And like, I can walk in stilettos because my inner stripper was so strong. I was like, I got it. I got it.